welcome and uh, in this video we'll create multiple glossaries in our document so glossary is actually a more powerful package than a normal glacier package and here i have a simple document uh, this is title page then and this is the port uh, document class is the report ms package lipson package for using some dummy text language is english so here we will use a glossary package in the preamble i'll write uh, glossaries and after that we'll write uh, make glossaries similar as a make normal glitcher i want to print my glossary at the end of the document so i'll write uh, uh, print glossary so before compiling my file i would like to tell you that when uh, you use a glossary package and uh, whenever you will uh, go to for compilation then your tech maker may show uh, one message in a log uh, interface here so this message in the log interface would be uh, perl interpreter could not be found so to get rid of this problem you will have to install perl interpreter so here uh, this software you will have to install before using a glossary package i have given link in the description box so you can download this software from that uh, link and uh, after that uh, go to user and then user command and go to edit user command and create one uh, your new command so here uh, you will write uh, glossary and uh, in a command you will write uh, make glossary make glossaries and uh, percentage symbol actually i have already created uh, this so i will not create it again here i have already created here so just press it after creating this press at ok now your new created uh, command will be inside this navigation you can see that here now we will create our uh, glossary entry so here i have uh, one equation so i want to add these symbols in my in glossary list so for adding this we will have to use new glossary entry in a fight curly bracket we will uh, label our uh, glossary so we can give any name so here i will just write length and in a second curly bracket we will write our symbol and uh, we will describe of that symbol for giving a symbol we will write name name is the command and after that we will write our symbol and a description we can put it in a curly bracket now we can give reference of this label uh, so suppose here i want to give reference at this place for a glossary we will write uh, backslash dls for uh, giving reference inside the bracket we will write our labeled name so this is the labeled name just paste here now if i compile this and then go to glossary again go to pdf data so you can see that my glossary uh, is uh, coming here we can change the name of this uh, glossary just go to print glossary and inside the square bracket write title so i want to write here list of symbols now again compile this the list of symbols is coming we can put it in a center just write here begin center and center compile this yeah so for adding glossary in a table of content we will write uh, in the preamble just before that glossaries in a square bracket we will write uh, talk and then we will uh, compile this two times now glossary is coming but uh, name is not uh, printing as uh, a list of symbols so for printing list of symbols here uh, we will again go to print glossary and here we will write talk title just copy uh, list of symbols and then compile this. Let's check. Yeah, now it is coming list of symbols in our uh, uh, table of contents. Similarly, we can write for other symbols. So I'll write here for uh, uh, diffusion and uh, time. I'll write same thing. So just I'll copy this and paste it two times. Now here I'll change my label name. Now I want to give reference of all these symbols. So here I'll write here just GLS, GLS for glossary.
now go to compile it is coming we can change our order of listing so here i want to print my time for diffusion in the last of the list so just write here sort and write time so now you can see that my order of list has been changed here i want to write length get to get and in the second i'll write so i want to print my uh, list alphabetically so just again go to pdf letter yeah diffusion diffusion length and time for diffusion now uh, i want to make uh, one separate list for uh, greek letters i want to print my uh, alphabetical uh, symbols in a one list and in a other list i want to print my all greek letters so for that i will create one new glossary so for that we will have to use new glossary command in the preamble we will write new glossary so always remember that we will have to use new glossary uh, after defining the glossary and also before make glossaries command so we will have to write uh, just before the make glossaries command write here new glossary in a first curly bracket we will just write uh, some name so i just write here ch1 actually it is defined for creating log file so just it, it will create one uh, glossary log file in a second bracket we will uh, write uh, our label name so here i want to write uh, my new glossary name so this is the ch list you can write any name in a third uh, uh, curly bracket uh, you will have to write uh, input uh, extension name so input extension name any name you can write here just write ch2 in a four, you will have to write uh, output extension name so ch3 and in the last curly bracket uh, we will have to uh, write uh, our glossary title so just write here greek symbols now this name uh, we will have to write in our new glossary entry so just i want to separate uh, this uh, glossary from the list of symbols comma and write here type so this is my second glossary and its name is uh, ch list so just write here and uh, i want to print my new glossary after uh, list of symbols so again write print glossary in a square bracket we will write our new defined glossary name so this is ch list so just write here type and just write ch list so for adding this list in a table of content write top title and uh, inside this i'll write uh, my title name so just compile this it's not running there must be some problem just go to uh, label actually it is uh, a square bracket now again go to compile now it's running and go to glossary it's working fine compile one more time actually glossary needs uh, many times compilation so now you can see that list of symbol greek symbols are coming in table of content and here list of symbols and greek symbols and we can also uh, increase the space between symbols and uh, description so for that just uh, go to print glossary and here just type style and long same thing type here again go to compile so now you can see that the space has been increased yeah you can see that in a list of symbols and uh, greek symbols uh, numbers are coming after description so i don't want to print uh, these numbers so for eliminating these numbers uh, we'll have to go to a uh, symbol and just write uh, here in a square bracket no number list compile this again check that yeah if you see the description of the symbols you can see that uh, dot uh, uh, symbols are coming in all uh, uh, descriptions so you can uh, eliminate uh, these uh, dots also so in a preamble we will use a renew command and in a first curly bracket we will write gls gls indicate for glossary and post description uh, just leave this uh, uh, curly bracket blank now go to compile 
now this time dots are not coming after the descriptions here we can change a style we can use at least group at least but generally i use the long types of style ok so far so good now i want to create one more glossary for abbreviations so for that purpose i will use acronym so for using acronym i uh, will write here in the symbol i am just uh, before the glossary in a square bracket we will write uh, acronym so here i want to use some abbreviation so for acronym we will use a new acronym in a first curly bracket we will write uh, our label name and in a second bracket we will write our abbreviation so just write here and uh, in a third bracket we will write uh, full name of that abbreviation And here for molecules, I also want to use uh, abbreviation. So for that, I will write here. First bracket, we will write uh, our label name. So now I want to print my acronym after uh, Greek symbols and glossary. So just write here again print glossary. First, we will write type. So this is the acronym type, just give uh, acronym type, we will write title name and talk title for a table of content and close your bracket. But before compilation we will have to give reference of this uh, acronym. So for giving reference uh, of uh, acronym we will have to write acrosort or acroful. This one is the label name. For this I will write now go to compile it's showing error so remember this we can only write uh, reference for a glossary after defining the glossary and this one is okay because we have already defined here but here i have written uh, this uh, uh, reference before the defining this one so we'll have to write it after defining this one so remember this always now go to compile even it's not running there must be again some problem so here we'll have to remove both we use a CR sort for uh, giving the sort name of acronym and also from here we have to remove and again go to compile, uh, go to glossary, again go to uh, PDF letter, compile this, yeah list of acronym is coming. So here you can see that our labeled uh, symbols are coming because we have uh, already given the reference yeah. So suppose you don't want to print uh, your uh, abbreviation name or uh, your symbol name uh, symbol in the text for that you will have to use uh, GLS add all. Now if you remove all your given reference So you can see that list of symbol, list of Greek symbols and uh, list of acronyms are coming. We can also put all the titles of a glossary in a section. So just write here in the symbol, just write section and uh, compile this. Yeah, you can see that. So this is the simplest way to use a glossary in your uh, document. And that's all. Thank you for watching.